so we just got to Athens um, I guess technically we've been here for at least an hour I would say but uh, it's a drive from the ferry port to the different hotel drop-offs and our hotel drop-off was last with our tour group we took the ferry as you saw earlier I think it was around 37 euros for our ticket. Um, I had seen reviews online about like the ferry to the islands, to and from the islands and not really having seating, but we had seating and I think 37 euros is, it is reasonable. Um, I could see why someone would spend less and just opt to sit outside for cheaper. Um, but I felt so comfortable, especially since it's a five hour ferry ride. I feel like two Santorini and Mykonos, maybe like I see like cutting the cost for that one. I think that one's 57 euros about that. Right. I'll put the number on the screen um, to double check what my ticket did exactly. But I feel like around the 50, 60s Santorini to Mykonos, maybe yeah, just stay outside and just hold your bag and stuff. But definitely five hours, like it was very comfortable for five hours, like so comfortable, so comfortable, and that's a long time. And there's a yeah. So you can like walk around, get a coffee, get snacks, get snacks. Pastries, definitely eat ice before cream, you go. Ice cream. You can walk outside on the deck. Yeah, spinach and cheese pie, um, and just like chill. But other than that, I I. Yeah, I would recommend that class of ticket for that very red. Anyway, this is our room at the Athenian Colero, I think it's pronounced. I keep saying it wrong. We don't have much of a view. It's just trees, so you all need to see that. These are the double twin beds. This Femi little coffee area already has our junk all over it. Um, the oh, door. Oh, you guys see? Um, look. Naomi's giving me this hat. I'm not giving Femi this Naomi hat. Naomi let me borrow it and then she was like, it looks so cute ASOS on you. I thought like you should just keep it. And I was like, I think I should. And actually I was like, no, are you sure? Because you just got it. Like you, you know. And then she was like, I already got a picture and I don't need to keep it. And I was no, like, Thank you. I wear my clothes after pictures, surprisingly. I know for my age. Wow, I know. But yeah, I don't plan on giving her my hat. Um, I feel like there are things that we have not updated on. It's too much. It's a lot, but when it gets to the point of editing the vlog, it's going to be annoying to have all these holes. Let me break yeah. it down. Um, the lighting's the best this way. So. Let me break it down for you. Let me break it down. You know where that's from? Yeah, of course. Um, Femi and I went to I feel what's the last time I did that update recap of the whole trip <laughs> rewind Malcolm in the middle style Femi and I started in Santorini great time a lot of walking our hotel was the I'll insert the name on the screen we went to that hotel it wasn't bad the issue we had with it was the cold water to me it wasn't that big of an issue yeah. i wasn't really pregnant it was like there was cold, five. i was just mad the town. city was like so far the biggest issue for us was that the city was is this gonna be just a dirty bench yeah it's gonna be the dirty bench this is the bench the you could sit on with your street clothes. Yeah, we don't sit on. You don't sit on the bed. This has already been disinfected. Um. Anyway. This bench is hard, man. Was it for luggage or what? I think it's for luggage. Um. The issue we had with the first hotel was that it was so far away from the city. Not so far, but it was a walk, and there are no street lights. Um. As you saw in the previous clip. Um, from earlier in the vlog, maybe part one or earlier in this video. So that was an issue. So if you come home from an excursion elsewhere, it's kind of difficult to get food and take it to your hotel or go walk to a restaurant and they have to walk back. 
it felt like 30 minutes back to the hotel, but it was probably like 15. Okay, that was, that was like a 20 Which minute isn't walk. Bad. 20 minute walk isn't a big deal. But it's the fact that, like, in the dark, two girls, and like you can't get a taxi and you cannot take the bus from the distance from the hotel to the downtown uh, Kamari Beach area because there are only about 30 some taxis on the island. So if you need a taxi, it has to be a worthwhile distance. So there is value in renting a car, but also an eight, a car or ATV, but it just, it is kind of dangerous if you aren't super experienced with that or driving in narrow roads in general, even if you can drive a car. Um, so that there's that. Mykonos. No, narrow roads with pedestrians all through the street. Yes. It's not just like, if you can drive, it's if you, you're used to people just... Yeah, you know, and being... Like if you're navigating the, around tour buses. Yeah, and buses, and one-way streets. And no street, and lights, no street lights. And pedestrians walking pretty close uh, to traffic. In Mykonos, our hotel was great. It was only about seven minutes walk straight downhill to town. And there, there you can access like the hub where all the taxis are and where all of the buses run to the different beaches. And we didn't take any buses while we were there. We did take buses in Santorini, which were very convenient and only around two euros. Um, and they run every 30 minutes in Santorini, in Mykonos. It was, I think, a different system, but we didn't use the buses because we were so close to the um, town and we prefer taxis. Um, ordering a taxi in Mykonos was so much easier. Our concierge gave us the um, two numbers for the taxis and they say like call 30 minutes in advance of whenever you want to get to your location. Maybe if you have a reservation at 8, call the taxi at 7.30 and so forth. But thankfully, our taxis were arriving pretty quickly from when we had our reservations. And even when we were returning back from our reservations, they came pretty quickly with those two numbers. I'll probably put them in the description box. Um, but yeah, so there weren't any apps that I could find for like Uber and Greece, da, 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 whatever. But um, the numbers were helpful. So you just call the number, see your destination, and they come in time. Most we spent on a taxi was, I think, 25 euros. Um, but yeah, it was pretty convenient. When you do walk to town from that hotel, you do have to be mindful of cars because there is incoming traffic, no sidewalks, and narrow streets. Um, it was very racist for us, as you saw in the clip, when we went to, um, especially Santan, Santana's or Santana, Santana, I think, um, beach. It was just a bad experience. They pretty much refused to serve us and wanted us to leave and pay early. They wanted us to leave by just, you know, when just being rude, like they were walking us around the whole, um... Are we just going to say the whole story? I was going to just give a synopsis, but oh, we, okay. we, we should, I mean, might as well. Pretty much we got there, um, we get to the front, one of the hostesses doesn't greet us, the other one is super nice, and she tells the other one, oh, go, like, take them to a day bed. They ask, do you want to be by the pool, or do you want to be by the beach? We already did the beach day bed thing, so we're like, oh, let's go by the pool. They have the beautiful pool. She's walking us laps, like, all around the whole... Yeah. Pool area and, and there are like, several different day beds there's so, different levels yeah like, you can be like you could tell there's like a vip level and then she takes us to like the cheapest i would say there's probably like four levels that we could identify like yeah just off memory now without actually knowing all the info yeah they took us to the one with that was crowded that was in the sun no shade or just a shaded deserted area in the back pretty much by the um the beach the beach and she's like, oh, you could go here or here. And then we were like, oh, that one was so crowded. Let's just go here. And then we're sitting. The ones like, by the beach. By the beach. By and ourselves. It's, and it's not even a day bed. It's a big seat. With it's, like pillows yeah, on the it's and pretty then, much a restaurant table yeah, with big chairs. Yeah, and so we chairs. were just like, and she's like, oh, well, you guys are here late. 
We get there at 6.30. No, it was 4. Oh, it was 4. Oh, because remember, our reservations were at that yeah, time. Yeah, we got there at 4. And it's still it bright closed. out. Sun doesn't set till 7.30, and they close at midnight. midnight. So it's like, it just didn't make sense. And then there was this whole situation with um, us wanting a drink, and then she's like, oh, you have to go order it from the bar. The server is on their lunch, and I, on their break. We're like, okay. So I go up to the bar. I'm like, can I have a menu? And the guy's like, oh, I'll take it. And he gives Naomi, he walks over to Naomi. And I was like, oh, are you going to help us? He's like, yeah, I'll be taking care of you guys. So Naomi gets a juice. I get a drink. And then he brings it back. It's super windy. We're just talking about like, wow, we're really here in the cut. Like when everyone's, you know. Yeah. We're not even in the mix or anything. Also, he was like not the best server. Yeah, he, he kind was of, kind of rude. Yeah. He was just like, when he was, he wasn't even looking at us. He was just like looking around while like, we were. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Just, just here's your he menus. Was, and, and then it's like, left. I've been a server. We both have. We've been servers. And it's like, you know when someone doesn't want to serve you. Like, yeah. it's like, not in the derogatory way, but just, they're just like, don't want to like, this is not someone who I want to accommodate. Yeah. You know, it's like, you're just like, okay, why are you Yeah, here? and I figured, and oh, maybe so he was on rude. break at and, first, but. And he, we interrupted his break, which is also, those are times where I'm kind of like, okay, y'all had me leave my break to go do this, whatever, someone else could do it or whatever. No, he, the whole situation is pretty much they didn't want to serve us. The hostess didn't really care that we were there. And she was trying to be rude enough for us to leave. And it worked because we did leave because it's like, we're not going to be here. And also, I we were both not, we were annoyed. But it's like, when you're in a different country, you don't want to be argumentative. You're two black women in a yeah. pool of people who are not. And it's just like, okay, whatever, pay the tab. And then this guy's like, Oh, he was serving. He served us, and then he's like, "Oh, well, actually, your next drink, or if you want to order something, order it from the bar. I can't help you. I talked to the hostess, and she said I can't help you." The only thing that I want to do is you can pay me now. Okay. Is there anyone you know? So you can't take people at this time. You can't take if, people at this time. Yeah. Uh, after you want to take some, uh, some other, some others, you must, you must go to the bar. Okay. And I was just like, okay, that's fine. And then, so I go to pay, and he's like, oh, are you going to give a gratuity? Do you want to this for a service for us? Do you want to tips for a service? No. Nope. I legit didn't think it could get worse. Did you hear me? You don't think it could get worse? I did not think that. Did you do know? Also, and gratuity in Greece is already included usually, in the bill. Usually, tipping, honestly, I'm just like, fine, whatever, you get whatever. But they don't even tip in this country. It's like a really, like, unless it's like super, it's already included. No, tipping tip is, is already, all included. Gratuity was already in every listed. bill. If you wanted something more, why? You know what I mean? The guy at the beach, when we went to the first place, yeah. he got extra and all this keep it whatever because it was like he was great. It was great right. service. It was amazing. It was like beyond. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just, it was messed up. It was yeah. a very bad experience. Another thing too, it's not even like they gave us those tables or that table seating, whatever, because there was no space. It was there empty. was You'll see a variety like it was literally dead dead because it was windy at the beach and at the pool there were so many options i could understand if she was like you can't do the pool you have to do the beach that's the only place we have space but that was not the case at all they definitely served the incoming white people who were coming to santana's a lot they did. better um and they had the pick of where they want to sit regardless of how much they want to spend like, she literally only offered us a $60 day bed in the sun with no service or a table with no service. Um, not even a day bed like we requested. So we stayed there for like less than an hour. Um, but the whole day was pretty uh, crappy anyway because even shopping, it was like really racist. Oh um, the day we had planned was shopping and then santana's and then dinner um so it was like oh start the day shopping um and then when we started the day shopping they followed us around the store um not even in a customer service type way but in a are you gonna steal type way let me wash your hands type way 
also saying like suggestive comments like we couldn't afford things um oh, if you need anything on sale i'll get i'll give you our sale discount at off-white they said that dior they followed us all the way through this other boutique that was it was a cute boutique and she was just kind of like what do you need like what